Lightning can't get it away. We've got 1.49 to go in the first period. It's wide by Tverden. He's had a good shift here. Chance again, and there it is. There's the opener. It was Luke Pither who came onto it. Good work from Marek Tverden. Yeah, they could contain him for a certain amount of time, but if you give Pither and those guys a lot of chances around the net, he did great keeping the puck in the zone. And then eventually it falls to him in the slot, and a great shot from him, low glove. Deflects it towards Killeen's goal. Pause is still on stage. Playing a nice little set there. Wallace comes forward for the Lightning. Number 28 gets it across, and it's a shot, and it's in. They've equalised. Have the Lightning. It was a good break. Yeah, finally they managed to find a way past uh, Garnett. And again, all through Wallace, great creativity by him. He just delays and hits the guy back door there, and he fires five holes just when he put that in. It was Wallace. The assist for the first, nearly got the second. It's fallen here to Guptil. What can he do there? What a finish, Alex Guptil on the spin. He got a bit lucky as the book fell to him, but there was nothing lucky about that finish. 2-1. And a great individual goal by Alex Guptil. A little bit of good fortune there. The uh, defenseman tried to bat that one out of the air and it fell right to him. Came out of nothing. The great move by Guptil there. A little spinner armor on his backhand and fires that one in. And that's, you know, classic Guppy will make something out of nothing and he gives the Panthers that lead. Guptil on the face-off with less than 15 to go here. And look at that, would you? It's 3-1 straight off the face-off. And what a shot by Rob Lakovic right off the face-off. He doesn't dust it off, just a one-time, a high glove. And with 13 seconds left, that gives the Panthers a 3-1 lead. But again, just a great, good face-off win. Here comes her to be, gets it forward to Lakovic. He wants two for the night and he's got it. That'll do it, 4-1. Rob Lakovic fires into the empty net. He's dispossessed. Jay Smith forward, a chance here for Vandermeer. Just in front and that's the opening goal. Vandermeer with the pass and there on the doorstep is David Rutherford, the man you do not want. Well, that kind of opportunity straight in front of the goaltender, handles it onto the uh, backhand, I think, and flicks it into the roof with 11.59 to go in the first period. Dundee nil, Belfast 1. On the other side, and the Giants will clear this away. Quick transitional play here from Belfast as Riley goes to in, and that's going over the shoulder. They didn't need Riley. They scored goal number two of the evening, the 7.47 to go in the first period. Dundee 2. Sorry. Dundee nil, Belfast 2, and it's Rutherford again, I think. 30 seconds left then on this 5 on 3. Giants working this around well, and it's gone across the line again. No surprise, to be fair. 5 on 3 situation. The Giants looking dangerous in any situation this evening, but have taken advantage there of the two man advantage. It's Dundee nil, Belfast 3. Send up through for Hooks, kept inside the line off for Roach. And the Giants working this well. 20 seconds left on the power play. Roach with a fire. Jansen close, and it's number four on the doorstep. Jonathan Ferland takes the rebound and fires that across the line. It's Dundee nil. Belfast four with 15.30 left to go in the second period. Another power play goal for the Giants, and this time it's Jonathan Ferland. Get away though, still manages to hold on. Lundberg with a shot. Deflection and a chance here, two on one break for Belfast, it's Lewis Hook, tries for number two and gets number two of the evening for himself. With 11.52 remaining in period two, it's Dundee nil, Belfast five, the second goal of the night for Lewis Hook. In addition to the two for David Rutherford and the Jonathan Ferland marker as well, it's five nil. Chip it across for Dow, Dow fires and a tip for Ricci. Didn't connect. And the Giants here. Oh, nice play here. Chance for another one. And it's across the line. Five hole, I think, from Bishop on Holland. And it's a short handed goal for the visitors. And that is goal number six of the evening. Hunter Bishop on the score sheet.
Oh, chance here again, short-handed, it's another short-handed conceded for Dundee. An absolute disastrous start to that power play, 21 seconds gone on it there. And Kyle Bourne finds a target, beats Holland, and with 4.09 left in the second period, it's Dundee nil, Belfast 7. He takes it across the lane, Hart puts him into the boards. Possession, no, still with the Giants, fell under, pick this up behind. To the line for Vandermeer. Vandermeer fires and scores. Well, unsighted, I suspect. Craig Hollandale all the way from the blue line. Jim Vandermeer hits the target. 14 48 remaining. It is Dundee nil, Belfast 8. Have a look at this one. Good combination work, a low one. And it's in. Mike Henning got the touch, but looks like Stephen Dixon's the man to finish it off. Four minutes, 24 seconds gone. Good combination play down the left-hand side. Found its way, and it's Dixon in the centre. Plays it all the way back to Josh Batch. Heading. It's an easy one, and it's long leg. A second for Cardiff Devils. Seven minutes, 21 seconds on the clock. And that's good work from the Devils. Heading in the middle, long late, tucks it away. Now Martin, Martin's always a threat. Comes in from the right-hand side. That's an excellent finish from the Cardiff number 88. Joey Martin is dangerous as always. Took the puck up the right-hand side, drifted into the centre and sends the shot into the net. Drops off for Pitt. Stanish. Off bounds and away. It's a goal, it's Fitzgerald. It may have taken a deflection, but the captain is back, Fitzgerald, with a shot from the blue line. And Bounds is beaten. Clan, get one on the board. 3-1. Pitt, Fitzgerald, intercepted by Pope, and that's a chance, and Pope takes it. Rumpel is beaten again. Fitzgerald attempted clearance, intercepted by Matt Pope. Suddenly, there was space for the... Cardiff number 42 and he rifled a shot past Joel Rumpel. Connolly, he's got space. Connolly! Terrific finish from the clan number nine. There was a bit of space for him as he picked it up at the blue line, came through into the slot and fired the puck into Ben Bounds' net. Clan get one back. 30 seconds to go. Earhart on the turn. Stupka! Stupka fires into the net with 22 seconds to go. And Clan are still in this Challenge Cup tie. The gap is closed to four goals to three. Plays it back the way. And it's Becker, can't quite force it over. I wonder if Pitt might have had better luck trying it himself. He's got it that time. Scott Pitt coming in from the left hand side and makes a finish from close range Mika Vickman is beaten and with four minutes and two seconds on the clock Glasgow clan go a goal to nil up again we'll look for the opening Brynisveen at the blue line Ainsworth looks for it Ainsworth has it back to Brynisveen Brynisveen tries it and he sent it into the net that's a good shot and a good effort from Nikolai Brynisveen that brings Coventry level on the power play. The puck coming back to the Norwegian. He looks up and he knew where he was sending it. Uh, Nikolai Brynisveen has levelled for Coventry Blaze. It's 1 1. To win it, Hashi. Back to Hansen. Hashi. Into the centre. It's Lake drives it in. Just at the hash marks. Ben Lake has put Coventry Blaze ahead. Coming up on four minutes into the second period. Ben Lake with the finish. Justin Hashi sets him up nicely. And Lake saw the gap. Now Becker with the interception at Stupka. It's a great finish from Vaclav Stupka. Two and two from the Slovakian. Nice little bit of luck for the clan. Becker laid off for him. And Stupka sent into the net. It's 2 2. Blaze penalty to 
Kyle Hart, Pitt. It's in the net. Scott Pitt with the shot. He got a final touch of someone. But his teammates are coming over to applaud him and the clan. Go 3 2 ahead. Three seconds into the power play, and the home side take the lead. Scott Pitt with the shot just inside the blue line. Here's the man taking a seat. Becker, it's Pitt into the centre. Connolly hits the post. It scrambled in, and it looks like Josh Gratton has got his second of the game. Another power play goal from the veteran. Good bit of work for the clan. They go 4 2 ahead. Wonderful work from the clan. Scott Pitt, it run the bell. Bounced back out. Gratton tucked it away. And the clan go 4 2 ahead. Good defensive work by Panthers sets up a steal and a quick transition feed to Tommy Hughes, who streaks down the right side and roofs a bullet for a 2-0 lead. Just over three minutes into the second, a face-off scramble gets caught in Craig's feet, and Betridge grips and rips to make it a three-goal difference. As the Flames tried to cut into the lead on a power play, a Panther steal is banked to Betridge, who goes the length of the pad before zipping one through Fullerton, and at four goals against no reply, the route was on. It got worse from there as the home team keeps the puck moving forward along the boards, but a failed zone entry was reversed. An outside pass sent Alex Guptill on his way, and with some slick mitts, he drives wide before going around Fullerton and burying the fifth. Merrick Teverden in the 15th minute had Panthers up by half dozen and then Guptill cuts to the middle and makes a perfect goal mouth feed to Mark Kurtevis who opens a seven goal gash when he tips it past incoming netminder Mike Will. A good sequence for the Flames finally counts when Cruz Reddick's initial shot is turned aside as is the rebound. The Canadian forward tracks the play through the middle and gloves an errant Panthers pass. Delivers to Dunbar before Reddick one times the return package and makes it a... The ice was still wet in the third when all kinds of flames misfortune through the neutral zone and into their own end opens up another two-on-one with Luke Pither stuffing home the short pass to restore a seven-goal cushion. On the ensuing power play, the flames move the puck quickly and in numbers before Craig's point shot on net spits out a rebound that Kelly Acker fires back before a second swipe at his own leftovers finds the target. The home fans get a little more cheer with the final Flames goal in the 49th minute when the puck moves around the outside before getting to Eric Lindhagen, whose initial shot bounces back before he wires it home, but the night ends on an 8-3 defeat. Trying to find the man in the slot here, slides off. Uh, man just to get the pass, and Hansen has got the puck back and he gets the crowd on. Crowdog dumps it in and it's in the back it's of the net. The well, a lovely backhand. And that's it. Lynn puts it in the back of uh, Lake, sorry, puts it in the back of the net for the Coventry Blaze. Well, you saw that coming, Stephen. You did. We said it just with the opening uh, seconds of that power play opportunity for the Bouchard. Dumps the to go. to find uh, Bhutan and it does. And well, early shot. They are the stars, have the equaliser. The early shot from Bhutan surprised the company defence. That's it, Bouchard was ready and waiting to slap that into the back of the net. We'll have a look back here on the replay. But yeah, Bhutan got that pass. Stars living dangerously here. Going in. Well, that looks like Ferrara has put that in. And the Coventry Blaze take a 2 1 lead with 10 15 left of the third and final period. We'll see it back on a replay here. Well, it was coming, Steve, we were just saying. Well, the Stars were only going to live to regret not taking their opportunities. Yes, well, the help comes in the uh, form of Bouchard. Yeah. And well, great work from the Dundee Stars, and they get that equalising goal.
I think it's Mike Sullivan will have a indeed. look. It definitely is Mike Sullivan. For once the puck comes off a of Weakman, falls kindly. Right, we can see it back here. Finds my card. Tries a shot on the blind side. There's another penalty coming. But not before the goal. And it's up man Mike Sullivan once again. Well, the Dundee Stars find themselves taking the lead at 3-2 with 2.37 left of the game. Let's have a look back at this goal from Mike Sullivan. Sullivan having a big night here. Back it goes to that man Sullivan again. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Mike Sullivan has hit it from the blue line. It's got a tip in. And it's a fourth counter for the Stars. Well, how things change in the game. And we can see this back on replay here. top Brits in this league good to see he's okay opportunity now for Manchester straight down the center that's a goal Manchester certainly the quicker skating of the two teams at the start of this game he goes straight into the middle and Moffat goes there and just roosts that and again that time round, Mazenich Armstrong back to Mazenich finally trying to give himself some room and that's a goal and here come the Bears! And that is, that is great to see so many... Opportunity now for Lightning. Shot comes in! And would you believe it? Nelson Armstrong gets his second of the game! supply in the pass great player on the boards I think pardon it was Tudor on the boards Norris gives the pass and Nelson Armstrong shot goes wide and to the right and Lightning return back to full strength Suwon comes back out the bench Golovkov now with those legs he did so much damage against Cardiff last week about it Armstrong! And that's a hat trick for Nelson Armstrong! Well, what a game that guy is having! Hadn't scored a goal in the league until this evening. And now he's got three. A couple of hats appear on the ice as well for good measure. What a great goal that was. Tight play by Storm, but in the end it's in the corner away with it once again that's a great draw pass over to Norris in the corner from Martin Mazinec pulling that and now yes another goal and that's Owen Griffiths 12-13 to go Norris with the pass down deep in the corner long opportunity now and that's a goal! Evan Richardson pulls one back for Storm. It's a power play goal, 14 seconds remaining on the penalty. We bring Lightning back to full strength, of course. Armstrong. He's got to be in with a shout for Man of the Match tonight. Golovkov gets the shot away! George Golovkov does exactly what he did against Cardiff last week! Picks up the puck, fires low, pass back in. Here's Vandermeer. Experienced campaigner, opportunity here, they've got one goal, it's Rutherford. Puck came to him, then he's buried it. Vandermeer started it. It was shot towards goal by Riley. And Rutherford hit the water bottle and lit the lamp. O'Connor. McFadden. 
Dowd. Snaps in and scores! The Steelers are level with a power play goal from Robert Dowd. Since returning from injury, Robert Dowd has suddenly got into a rich vein of form. He's up to eight for the season now, and he's got this game levelled up. And Roach will bring the Belfast Giants forward. Tipped into the zone, Giants get it back. Centering feed, saves made, the follow-up's put in. The Giants have got their lead back early in the third. Drove with speed down the right wing side and then across to Beauvillier and the first one came back to him and he controlled it from skate to stick and made no mistake second time around. Final attack of the power play, Rutherford. Around the net trying to feed it out front and it works, they score! The Giants have got a two-goal advantage, and might that be enough? Power play time was winding down. Big moment in the game. And Neely delivers! What a bonus for the Steelers. A penalty shot goal right into the top corner. They're just crowding everything out in the neutral zone. There's no way through for Pitt. There's an empty net goal and it's scored. The Giants are going to be winners. Fired in from centre ice to claim the two points. I think when the devil's pressing so high, it's something we need to do is maybe get him behind and, and obviously try and sneak up. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the card do a good job of pressing hard, uh, quickly and fast. Oh, and the score! Marcus Passara. Well, it was a pass that bubbled awkwardly behind Ben Benz's net. Squared by Crowder, finished by Marcus Passara. It's 1 0 to the Flyers. Yeah, good goal by Faith there. Good, good opportunity, a good score. And Stripe on his shirt to put his hand up. Yeah, uh, very good. Oh! Oh! And Flyers get a second. Well, 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 well. 2 0 Fife. Yeah, I think it's one of these goals. I don't think Ben Bowser want to see that one again. I think that was an error. Pinkston for Bulmer. Bulmer gives it away though, Forney. Been and down on goal and scores. Oh, good goal, yeah, backhand, good goal. Pick that out. <laughs> what a goal. And 2 1. Funny. Oh, and, oh, and a goal there, there's yeah. The equaliser. Yeah. Quite a simple goal, actually. I mean, the guy's standing in the back, at the back post. The Flyers will be kicking themselves at that. I mean, yeah, there was a bit of a soft goal touch. To be honest with you, shoot there. There was a pardon the pun at the start of the second, but Devils have worked their way back in. And Mark Hedden has another got goal. The another goal, yeah. On a wraparound. A very good goal by Cardiff again. So, two goals in a minute there. In the space of a minute, Flyers have went from in the lead. And now trail the Cardiff Devils by three goals to two. Martin. Setting up here. Walking it round again, Forney. Sent through. And it's a goal, it's a goal. Well, Flyers are claiming that didn't cross the line. I think they thought they'd kicked in shoot, but the guy never moved his leg, so obviously the puck came off his leg and it's went in the net there. So uh, it's a clear goal. Yeah, clear goal. Yeah. And across and sent through again for Devils heading. Yeah, and a good five. goal there, yeah, good goal. They've got to take their hats off to Cardiff just now. They're playing some amazing hockey and they're getting the right rewards. Well, you never want to say it, never, but I think it's goodbye and good night. That's why these teams are at the top of the league. It's, it's, it's things like situations when they're two goals down and they can come back and do it. And there's another goal. And there's the sixth. And now it's another fine strike there. It went right through Owen.
Right, it's been the first time in a long time we've heard booze actually going round with 15 minutes to go. And through Owen gets it behind the net, crowd up. Here come the Devils again, it's through, it's seven. And another good goal, yeah, another good goal. Great goal for Cardiff Devils. 7-2 Cardiff and the nightmare scenario for the Flyers is becoming a reality here. It's fallen apart in this third period for the Flyers. 7-2 to the Devils. Will only fuel their intention to get two points tomorrow night. Crowder brings it out there. I guess a goal yeah, by. Yeah, and a good goal there, yeah. Well taken by Crowder. Duggan. And through oh, there it is, there's Oh, there's another goal by Cardiff. There's their reply. Five get scores. one, Cardiff come up and score a goal. As Erhard loses his footing there, and the Panthers come away with it with Pither. He's got Boldoot with him. Pither shoots wide. It's taken 10 seconds off the power play time. Boldoot comes up with it, drops it off. Surely it is. It's a goal. Gila Pin. Panthers captain, short-handed, has given them the lead here and they're carrying on from last night. And what a goal, yeah, not only a goal short-handed, but a goal short-handed by a defenseman, which you don't see that often. The great work there from Pither, and Lapine just steps in there off the point and one-times that high blocker. And yeah, like you said, not even three minutes in. Another chance here for Farmer. Drops back and there it is, it's 2-0. Alex Guptill gets on the score sheet once again. And we play just over 10 minutes, the Panthers are up 2-0. Great goal there again, great work by Robert Farmer down low. All Farmer and Kovacs working it down there. And they take it to the net and it falls to Alex Guptill. And Guptill's hot at the moment, he had one last night and he's keeping his streak going. Lepind as well. And Betridge is going to get on the end of this, he's got Biggs with him perhaps. Does give it to Biggs, Big shoes, and it's another short-handed goal. The Panthers are on fire tonight. 7.49 to go in the first. 3 nothing. Great goal there again. We were just saying how we almost had another short-handed goal. And Oli Betcher just been hot again. Two goals yesterday. He races down. He wins the foot race. He picks that puck up and he feeds Tyler Biggs. Inside shot. Misses it completely and it sums up the night so far. And then the puck. Is scrambled in. Yeah, the clan managed to just bundle that one over there. Um, a little bit of a broken play, caught on a line change, and good persistence by the clan getting to the net. Munson came out. I think he thought maybe he had it in his glove or under, and the puck was bobbling around and just by him, and it eventually gets kind of scrambled over the. Herchibis, Biggs, Guptill. There's a shot coming in from the right side, Justin Kovacs, it fell to him. Slightly lucky, a good way from here to Bees, but he's got a goal, 4-1. And a great pass in play by this power play unit. Biggs down low, Guptill and Herchibis working it. Uh, Herchibis drives to the net there and it just goes all the way through to Kovacs and he fires one in back door, so two shot-handed goals and now... Bolduk, Pither at the blue line. Right to Hertiebees, Hertiebees fires it in, straight in, like an arrow. Gary Russell could do nothing about that, 5-1. What a goal from Mark Hertiebees. Doesn't even dust it off, doesn't look for any options. He gets a pass from Pither and he just rips that one high. And not even halfway through this game, the Panthers have the 5-1 lead. Good work, Robert Farmer, he's got help in the middle farmer goes alone and there is another one three short-handed goals tonight for the panthers all robert farmer that 6-1 and what a move by robert farmer he has luke pither with him but he doesn't want to risk turning the puck over so he just keeps it for himself high blocker awesome fall kovacs almost picks it up here come the clan though chance perhaps munson blocks it and he's taken out there yeah i'm actually surprised if this one's going to count here. I mean, once got absolutely wiped out in the crease, but I wasn't sure if it was the defenseman that hit him or the oncoming forward, but Munson makes a great first save there on Stupka. He gets wiped out and then it's an easy tap-in, but I think they'll probably go and look at this one and we'll, we'll see in a second. 
Cruster Biggs again, same position. Herchabees coming up to a minute remaining. Olsen shoots and it's in. Dylan Olsen gets another one. Panthers seven, clan two. I didn't see if Guptill, I think Guptill got a piece that in front, but Olsen's so good at getting those pumps. Trying to get started once more. Steelers have to clear the zone before they can come in. They do manage it. It is hit hard, but keeps going. Out front, the Steelers have scored! What a start! It's down again! He's on fire right now! Well, it all starts from a good four check here. Pitt and Owens are in there. You can see Pitt takes the hit. Everybody on the Belfast Giants is looking towards the corner and nobody picks up Robert Dowd right in the middle of the ice. The A1 prime spot. Shot is deflected away by Rain. He never got through to the netminder. Once again, the Steelers are back onto it. Westerling buzzes around. Didn't see a pass out front. Great atmosphere. Centric feed saved and then scored! 2 0! And it's that man again. He's done it again! <laughs> Two in seven minutes. And this all starts with Westerling and Eberle and Phillips with an absolutely fantastic shift down low. Robbie Dowd again. Steelers outshot the Giants 12-6 in the first period. And DeLuca has won this one back. It's all DeLuca's own work and he draws the pad save from Beskarawani. And then the Steelers get one past him. It was a hopeful attempt and Beskarawani's beaten. Yeah, McFadden gets the puck to the net. We'll see if it ends up being a DeLuca goal in front of the, him and Phillips. are both hanging about there. It's, you can see right here. McGrath just gets it back towards the net as it trickles, trickles through. I think that goes off the Belfast. It bounces straight back to the Steelers. Matheson. O'Connor. Lots of shooting options for the Steelers. Dowd is one. So is O'Connor. This is what we were saying before, you've got the bump back play or you're going to use Dowd as a one-timer and here's the bump back play, you see it's always going to happen, coming back with the two guys down in front and anytime you allow Ben O'Connor to do that he's going to sail that up and over, but a great job by Josh Pitt Look and tire them out in the other end and don't give them those opportunities Ferland out front and the Giants do score Got it to Beauvillier. And the release here is very, very good. Furlan there. You can see again, Sheffield players all looking the wrong way. And Beauvillier. Riley snaps it. It takes a deflection. The Giants have it behind Whistle's goal. They'll bring it out front into the slot. Big chance taken by Riley. That was the opportunity they wanted. It's probably too late. But the Giants are keeping their hopes alive. Yeah, the Sheffield forward just drops down a little bit too low there. Buzzio goes in. I can't quite see who the other one if it's... Comes across now. Paulie looks to pass it across, but Hansen wasn't ready for the shot. Again, one of the two of them should be firing that puck on the net. Blaze again. Shoot. Sean Paul is in there. First goal for the Blaze. Puck comes out. Rebound from Fullerton. And it's Bears on the ice as tonight is the air of the Bear game. We see it again on the replay. Puck comes around. It's a shot in there. And then Paulie taps in that rebound. There was a big hole there if that could have been turned towards there by Baldwin. But now Tim Crowder, he's got he's got the ice in front of him all the way through four and back and it's a goal. Second goal for the Coventry Blaze. Tim Crowder on the breakaway, released early on, just got a step in front here, backhand forehand and into the back of the net, allowing any time, and uh, that's leading to a bit of mistakes. Jake Hansen managed to turn the puck up, he's on another breakaway, he shoots, he scores! Jake Hansen short-handed at 4.27.
fantastic work from the Blaze forward, picking the puck off in the neutral zone, straight down the centre of the ice. See a great turnover, and just he's off to the races, and doesn't really try any moves here. He's just beaten Travis Fullerton with the speed of the shot there. Blaze now recover. They can break. They've got a three on two here. Hansen looks to play it. He's found Nikiforak. He looks for Lakers four. Fantastic passing play from the Coventry Blaze. Transition from one side to the other. Ben Lake on the back door to put this one home. Hansen makes a great pass here to Nicky Forrick. Nicky Forrick sees Lake's got nobody on him, and that's a very easy play, but with great creativity from the Blaze forward netting. Craig working it round. They're gonna they're gonna try and be a bit patient here, Guildford, on this five on three. Acrid back, they're gonna look to see if they can find a, an open. Acrid shoots! Blocked in front, but it's in! John Dunbar on the back door. Redirection from the rebound. Finds its way to Dunbar and he taps it in to make it 4 1. You see. Yeah, the Blaze having to be a bit passive there just because they don't have the number of men there. And that opens up space. Guildford again, just under a minute left now on this power play. John Dunbar down low again, right in front, and it's in! Puck manages to find its way to the man in front of the net. I think that's Ian Waters who will get the credit for that goal. Strong bit of play in front of net, battling for position here. We see Dunbar come down, finds Reddick, and then we say Waters just wraps it round Mika Vickman to make it 4-2. Looks to try and get past Kevin Noble, but can't. Clements picks it up. Now to Nicky Forrock. Chips it long. Now to Ben Lake, who gets round move, dives towards the net, shoots and scores! Ben Lake, great move down the right wing. Doesn't get it in on the first shot, manages to make it on the second. Again, some fast play, completely undresses Eric Lindhagen. Takes it all, oh, sorry, Jordan Knapp then, straight pass. Two minutes the man. game for the Blaze and try and get, claw themselves back in. Reddick. Finds Waters, shoots, short side, finds the gap for Mika Vickman. That makes it 5-3. And we have a very interesting last two minutes here in the Skydome Arena. <laughs> we now see, again, they find Ian Waters and he just a quick release, short side. And uh, Waters finding himself into a kind of a soft zone. <laughs> Now, Vickman looks as if he's been massively taken out of the play. Acker puts that goal in the net. We'll see again. Look here at the highlights. We've got Dunbar driving towards the net here. He backs in. He massively takes Vickman out. There is no way that can be called as a goal. Which would kind of... No, they've given the goal. So what they're claiming is that it was Joy the penalty was going to be on Joyo anyway for interference with Dunbar. Um, but this is likely uh, now we see that Guildford come forward. They're on the power play. Shot Guildford Flames! And it's in! Five all! Looks like Ian Waters again taking the credit. Shot there, short side, and it again finds its same, almost the same shot, same gap. And now Craig and Reddick looking to change. The so Dunbar comes back across. He's got all the ice to come down, comes straight down. Dunbar background looks to shoot, and it's in. Foster on the back door. Guildford Flames with the extra overtime winner, 6 5 to the Guildford Flames. As we take a look at it again, a nice move from John Dunbar oh. taking it wide. Right across in front, and Riley Stable puts that in his own net. Well, there's a breakdown in the five zone by the Manchester Storm. Between Long and Rock, oh, puts it forward. No one in there though. Stolen by Brooks. Brooks shoots. And once again, swallowed by Owen Lewis. Bruce! Yeah. Yeah. You've got to say that. That play there, the official 
never blew his whistle. We thought Shane Owen had got it covered, but really trying the hardest. That puck swirls around. And it's gone in. A messy, a messy 2 1 up. Um, what a request for who scored the second five goal? That's a good question. I think he took a few deflections on the way through. We'll get back to you as soon as he can. Chance for the Manchester Storm. Ah, good is the goal! That was a shot that came off the backboard. He's not going goal down though. There, Hart. And plenty of bodies out in front, but Hart can't get it past the first man. Chance for the Flyers now. Good work by Hart. Gets a put back. He's got an opportunity out in front. Drops it and it's off the bar and in! Well, Chance Bray jumping off a puck that hits the iron. Low down though. Nice right, committing numbers out in front. Poulan, Poulan with a chance to clear. Just kept in on the blue paint by the Flyers. Chance for the Flyers, played in deep. Hit by Bulmer, Bulmer shoots low and he's in! An equalising goal. Goals for a change. Stayed in second, the foot behind the net. Lindsmeyer and Moffat. Just intercepted, right out in front. Moffat doesn't get the foot. He's by, he's gone the attack the other way. Great goal there by the Flyers. Sees them secure the two points after a big rebound off Matt Ginn. So the visitors this evening taking. To a ton of traffic and the Devils fans asking for a holding call they not given and now Mark Lewis has another go with a wrist yeah. shot and it finds its way through and the Devils soak up the adulation in a blizzard of bears and they take the lead one to nothing its way through I think so yeah I think high in the slot I think Ma I think Matt Pope might have just got the Settling in, Pope. They need a net front, they need net front again here. Pope with a drive and the rebound's put away. Ventavolio picks up the scraps and the Devils double their lead, two to nothing. Goldie makes the first save. Ventavolio driving the net. You see how much time they're getting around the outside. Need guys going to the net. Gets the bounce. Great defensive stick there from Dundee just to break that play up. Hart puts it on bounds and the rebound's there for Dow. It's there again and it finds its way through. The puck was juggling all over the offensive zone like a frog in a blender. And eventually the rebound is put away. It's two to one. And that all started in the defensive zone. Just a, a small play in the defensive zone. A great defensive stick. I wasn't sure who it was. Broke up the Devils play in front. Gets them going forward. Now he is Bissonnette. Good stick there, but Dow's pushed on. He's gone through. Dow with a speculative effort. Ties the game up late in the third. It's two apiece at the Viola Arena. Marquardt now. And like I said, Marquardt was definitely by far their best shooter in their shootout last week. Scored on his first one. Will he pull a similar move? He's patient again. Against Bounds and he puts it away. And this time it is the point for Dundee. Marquardt sends the Dundee Stars home. Very happy. It finishes Dundee Stars 3, Cardiff Devils 2. Assistant coach steps up big. He's a leader on that team. We talked about him before the game. He's going to be key for them.